hey, do you think you can do this one? It's number two on the top five advanced Wing Chun workouts. It's the Knuckle Pro. We're gonna show you how to do the Knuckle Pro. Now you see a lot of people doing the crow, it's a yoga pose with their hands like this, which is great, but can you do it with your knuckles? Now here we go, here's how you do it. The easier way to train this, if you haven't done this before, is to get a block like this. If you don't have like something like this, get a telephone book or just some towels is fine too. So you can start doing this. Um, before you do knuckles, obviously do the hand ones, but once you do the hand one, you're going to graduate and do our knuckles. Uh, easier way to do it is to have your thumb here to help balance a little bit more, a little bit easier. So from here, you're just going to put our elbows behind our knee, like this, on the inside of our legs. And then we're going to just rock forward and then put our head there so you get a nice balance and you're not scared of uh, rolling over. Now once you get balanced, now just rock back a little bit then you can get your head off the block like that. And once you get good at that, then you don't need the block. See my head is off the block now, right? Okay, so once you get good at that, do it without the block. You might want to put some padding here just in case you fall forward, doesn't hit your head on concrete or a hard floor. This is a little bit softer, so it's okay. So what you can do is start this about shoulder width. Find a nice position, not too wide, not too narrow. That's find the strongest, strongest position you can find. And then do it like that. And what you can do is adjust your knuckles back and forth to get that balance. Now, once you get better, you're not going to use the thumbs anymore. You're just going to use your knuckles to get the balance. Now, this is harder, but uh, once you get the balance well, then you can do it like this. Okay, so that is the Knuckle Pro. The way I train this is to hold the position for 30 seconds to a minute. Now, what you might want to do is if you can't balance for that long, that's okay. Just do your best. If you're off balance, just adjust back and try to hold the uh, position again. And if you're off balance, just go back to that uh, balance position. Eventually, your, your wrist will get stronger and your balance will get better. So this exercise is very good for training the wrist power and training the strength of your muscles and your hands. And also trains you to have the nice structure of your elbow, trains you to have the right angle of your of your forearm so they get the most power, trains everything to solidify your structure to increase your punching power. Here's a super advanced version for you that are insane and want to do something crazy. Start training your fingertips to do the crow, uh, the crow position. So we're not doing just knuckle crow, we're doing fingertip crow. How I do it, put your fingers in position, find the strongest position you can, do, you can, you can feel, and then do the crow position. very difficult to get balance because your fingers are not as strong as your as your knuckles. So train hard and you can start doing it for one second, five seconds and start doing this advanced training. Hey, thanks for watching my martial arts training and workout fitness videos. I hope you enjoyed them and use them to get stronger. If you like this video, make sure you check out my other videos that I have on my channel and make sure you click the subscribe button right here to get the latest and best training and workout and self-defense training lesson videos that I have. So I'll see you soon in the next video.